Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use CSS Flexbox in order to center vertically and horizontally some content. Okay, so I've got a blank web page set up. Uh, the only thing I'm going to have in the body of this page are a couple of divs. I'll do a div with class equals center block. And within that, I think I'll put another div, class equals um, center child, just so we can see that we can center an element on the uh, in the viewport in the browser window, and then we can also center an element within that particular centered element. That'll be enough, I think, of an example that we can do all kinds of stuff. So otherwise, my page is blank. So I'm going to be doing some internal styles here. And I'll start off with a, just a simple generic uh, CSS reset rule. I'll set all margin to 0, all padding to 0, and all borders to 0. Good enough. And I'm also going to head over to the body, create a rule for the body. And I'm going to go ahead and set a... Uh, min height of 100 viewport heights on there. That'll make sure that the body of my page fills up the visible space so that I can easily vertically center. And just so you can see how that's working, I'll go ahead and temporarily put a border on there. 10 pick solid green. And we'll just head on over to the browser and refresh. And you can see with that thick green border, you just can't see the bottom edge just because the thickness of the border is applying over to um, there. But that border is just there for temporary purposes so we can see that the body is filling up based on the viewport height. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that border. That's not necessary. But now we can get into centering the center block. So. In the body rule, because the body is the parent of this center block, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to display flex. That's going to treat this as a flex box container. And I'm also going to put in justify content center. OK, so display flex and justify content center. Actually, this is probably just going to do the, the, the horizontal centering. But let's see if we can confirm that. I need to create a rule for my center block. And I'm going to go ahead and set the width to be uh, 40 VWs. And the height can be 40 VHs. Do a background color. I'll just do uh, yellow green so we can see it. And in fact, I'm going to stop right there. And let's just see what's happening with this. OK, so we are getting the horizontal centering of this block. Fantastic. So it didn't have to really do anything special with that to get horizontal centering. Just make sure that the parent container is treated as a Flexbox container with display flex, and then use justify content center. But for the vertical centering, I'm going to go ahead and add a line self center to the child of the Flexbox container. So Control S to save. Browser refresh, and now we have horizontal centering and vertical centering. That wasn't so bad. So next order of business is to center the center child within the centered block. Let's go ahead and make sure we can see that center child. I'm going to give it a width of uh, 200 pixels and a height of 200 pixels, so it's uh, square shaped. I'll go ahead and give it a border radius. 50%, so it's now going to be a disk. And I'll give it a background color of um, khaki. See how that looks. Control S to save, browser refresh. OK, so I can see that disk show up. And I want it to be horizontally centered and vertically centered. But fortunately, we have a perfect example of how to do that by using its parent. Well, the center block is a child of the body, and the body container needed to be treated as a flex block, flex box with display flex and justify content center. So now that the center block is also a parent, display flex and justify content center. And of course, that's going to do the horizontal centering of the child. There we go. And of course, the vertical centering, before we used align self center, we're going to do the exact same thing here. Align self center. Control S to save, browser refresh. And so 
this is a pretty easy way to center a block element within another block element or center a block element within its parent block element, in this case, the body of the page. So horizontal centering has always been pretty easy. A couple of reason, uh, ways to do that. Vertical centering has always been a little bit more challenging, but with Flexbox, pretty easy thing to accomplish. Take care.